everybody and welcome back to Royalty Soaps. Today I am going to do a Brambleberry unboxing and also sort of tell you some of my favorites from Brambleberry. If you don't know who Brambleberry is, they are a company that I absolutely adore. They have soap supplies and candle making supplies and they also have sort of like a side website called Soap Queen that is run by Anne Marie who is a fabulous entrepreneur, inspiration, and craftsman. She is literally just, she is so sweet. She's so sweet and she does so much for our community and I love their company. They kind of have like this vibe of having this really close-knit family relationship with all of their customers, which I like, but they're also big enough so that they can provide you with a good variety of products and really excellent customer service. So they emailed me and were like, hey, would you mind if we sent you a box? And I was like, this is something I am never gonna turn down ever. So I've been waiting to film it and I'm sure you can see this is still moving background as this door will not be here in the future and stuff. Y'all just bear with me. We're still moving. We're still moving here. So I have this big brambleberry box and I've been waiting to open it. Ooh, <laughs> I've been waiting to open it with you guys. I will slice your innards, box. You packing tape have no power here. <gasps> Ooh. Oh boy. And oh my goodness, there are hedgehogs in this card. Do you see that? There are hedgehogs. <laughs> oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> Look at this. This is a soap cupcake I have seen, oh my gosh. I think I've seen this on the internet. Was there like an Instagram post with this cupcake? I remember seeing this. This has been like in one of their most recent posts for like holiday cupcakes or something. <gasps> Look, it has the little soap gumballs on top that I love so much. And this piping looks yummy. Oh yeah. Oh, what a great scent. Mmm, so clean and so festive. Look at that. I love that. Okay, ooh, ooh, now fragrance oils. Okay, so here's one called Pure Honey, and I'm totally into honey scents right now. So I'm excited about this. Like, honey, in my opinion, is kind of a really hard thing to nail because that's like a very unique scent. So let's see. Let's see what we think. Mmm. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. It almost, it's almost like there's a little bit of a candy smell in there, too. I'm definitely getting the honey vibe. Oh yeah, that's great. It's like honey plus candy a little bit because there's like an extra sweetness in there that you wouldn't just get with like honey. Oh yeah, oh that's amazing. I'm totally gonna get me some of this. Butter mints. Hmm, that sounds interesting. Whoa, whoa, what is that? Hold on, hold on, hold on. It's in a file somewhere. That smell, it smells Smells like Thin Mints, Girl Scout cookies, hmm, yeah, maybe? Yeah, smells like Thin Mints, that smells like Thin Mints, Butter Mints, oh of course, Butter Mints, maybe that's what they were trying to do, like Butter Mints, Thin Mints, I don't know, but that smells like Thin Mints, folks. Chocolate, sort of some vanilla-y, sugar-y stuff, and mint, mm, that is so good, ooh, 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 I really like this one. Oh my gosh, there's more! Flower Child, what a cute name. I'm totally like a hippie loving bohemian person. I love that style and stuff, so that ought to be fun. I wonder if it's gonna smell like essential oily or if it's going to s essential oily. That always sounds so bad. It's, if it's gonna smell like essential oils or if it's gonna smell like flowers or both. Oh, that's like, that's, that's not even what I expected it to smell like. That's like, it's almost like a perfume. It's like really, really pretty. Okay, so I really like Flower Child. I think that is like a really, really awesome fragrance. Okay, so now we have Grapefruit Bellini. Oh good, because I'm into grapefruit for scents right now. Like they have just like read my mind. I see Pumpkin is in the name of one of these too. So uh, man, Brambleberry, y'all have like read my scent mind. Because I'm totally into all that stuff right now. Hey, 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 open. Open says me. Let's try Grapefruit Bellini, shall we? Whoa. Whoa. Grapefruit, totally there. This smells like some extremely fancy alcoholic beverage. I love that. Whoa, that would be amazing. And those little like sugar cube scrubs, I think they probably have a recipe for that on their website where you make it with like glycerin soap and sugar. 
That smells like, that would be really good in one of those. Pumpkin souffle. Okay, I saw somebody raving about this in one of the soap making groups on Facebook and they were like, I got a sample of this and then I had to go like buy it immediately. So I am really excited about this. Oh, oh yes. Oh yes, my dear. Oh yes. Oh my goodness. I smell pumpkin bread. I smell pumpkin spice lattes. I smell... That is definitely like a pumpkin roll smell. Oh, that is so good. That is so, so good. Ooh, crisp cotton. Ooh, this is very delicate and airy. Ooh, yes. Ooh, ooh, this is very fancy. Bramble Berry's Juicy Couture type. Ooh, boy. That is one of my favorite little perfumes to use, so I will be interested to smell this. Mmm. Yep, that smells just like it. That really does smell just like it. Wow, what an incredible fragrance. Ooh boy. Ooh, this is, this is a good one, I'd hurt. There's still more in here. What is this? Is this a swirly thing? Is this like, do you swirl soap with this? Or use it as like a headband? <laughs> Seriously, I think this is like, a soap swirler that you can like mold to the shape of your mold and like I have never seen one of these before in my life and like think about it like you could twist it like all weird and whatever like this and then like do a unique swirl that absolutely nobody else can create ever because you have molded it to the shape you want okay but I, I i think that i think that's probably what it is if it's not that's what i'm using it for and what a great idea i just had <laughs> Ooh, snowflake sparkle mica this is exactly the type of micas that i love to use on top of my piping on top of soap because it really gives it that airbrush shimmer look Ooh, this is Fabulous! <gasps> rose gold mica. Rose gold is something I am totally into right now. I have a new fragrance line called Lady Rose Gold, which smells a lot like rose jam by a certain somebody. But I have had to mix up different colors because I couldn't really find one that looked exactly rose gold, but this really does. This really looks like the perfect rose gold. Dang, Brambleberry has like picked all of my favorite colors. Let's see, ooh, ooh, party pink. Yeah, these are all like colors I use. It's very similar to all the time. Y'all did like an excellent job picking. I, I can't believe it. So yeah, King's Gold, this is really, really pretty. It looks a little more matte than sparkly, which is also really, really helpful if you're trying to get like a lot of pigmentation into the soap because I find that gold is something that's really hard to transfer into cold process soap. You have to use like a lot of it to get like a true gold color. So I have found in my opinion that it is better to use micas that are less shiny if you're trying to get that true color and this one is definitely more towards the matte side so i bet that looks really really great in cold process so what a shiny like fuchsia oh this is these are gonna be fun oh i can't wait to make stuff so thank you brambleberry what an awesome box of goodness you guys okay so like you absolutely have to get the pumpkin souffle fragrance oil holy smokes also the butter mints this is like I'm sure it discolors so, but I'm also sure it is gonna be totally worth it. So, some of my favorite Brambleberry items, and this is something that I actually get asked quite a lot, like, what do you buy from Brambleberry? Well, the first thing I would probably say is the molds that I use. Um, in all of my regular Royalty Soaps videos, you'll see that I use the same molds. I actually have six of them so that I can make up to three different batches in one day. And those are the five pound wooden soap molds from Brambleberry. And of course, I'll be leaving links to all the products that I received and all of the products that I'm now mentioning in my favorites from them down in the description box. So if you want to know what I'm talking about or want to go see it for yourself, you can just click the link. I have been using those for about two and a half years. I think they are absolutely fabulous. I have never had to replace them or anything. I've Ever since I've bought them, I've continued to use them. None of them have broken or anything. And then I have the little silicone um, 
um, liners so that you don't have to line them with paper every time which just invest in those you'll just you'll thank me later so those are the molds that I use in almost all of my videos they're from Rambleberry they're their big five pound wooden loaf molds with the slidey bottom also from Brambleberry one of my absolute favorite fragrances is energy and that is from Brambleberry and it smells like gummy sweet tarts it is so delicious I use that one in my butterfly fantasy soap that was from one of these secret soap collections in the past it has like six different layers of color and then a little butterfly on top that's what is in there it was a massive seller everybody really really liked that one every time I bring that fragrance in everybody wants it so energy from Brambleberry is exceptional so is champagne which I didn't even know you could make a fragrance smell bubbly but you can it smells effervescent which sounds so strange but if you've never smelled it before just go do yourself a favor and go smell it and get you some because it is awesome it holds up super super well in cold process so oh by the way so does the energy I have never had a problem with either of those two doing anything weird acceleration separation seizing discoloring all that doesn't do any of that in fact if anything it probably slows trays down a little bit for the champagne which is good especially if you're trying to do a lot of fancy swirls so one of the other items that I absolutely love from Brambleberry is the little nine ball small silicone molds that they have in like you can pour nine at a time and they're the little soap gum balls that I make for on top of the soap so lots of people are like how do you make that do you buy that I have a video showing that well I get those little molds from Brambleberry so y'all can thank Brambleberry for that they also have bigger sizes so if you like um, the little soap gum balls but you'd rather it be bigger I think they have like two other sizes of that another thing I really like that has lasted me absolutely forever is one of their scales and I actually don't know the name of the scale off the top of my head so I'll have to go look on Brambleberry.com and leave it down below and be like that's the scale I'm talking about I have had that probably since I started making soap that was like one of the first things I had to buy because I didn't have a digital scale so that's like four years old and it is still going strong and it weighs out stuff perfectly and it was very very inexpensive so yes there is my Brambleberry unboxing and some of my Brambleberry favorites you should go check them out they have lots of sales going on because now it's the holiday time and everybody's making stuff for the holidays and you're making presents and you're making stocking stuffers and you're filling up you know for all of your Christmas stock and everything so yeah you definitely if you haven't tried them you really really need to they are one of the highest quality suppliers that I can recommend and they have lots and lots and lots of tutorials and instructionals and all that sort of stuff for people that are learning or even people that are um, more towards intermediate or advanced they have really tutorials for everybody and helpful tips and hints on using different products and using different additives fragrance you know what I mean so thank you very much Brambleberry for sending me this big box of goodies I am totally impressed you guys are fabulous and amazing I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel maybe even leave me a comment below like I said you got to go check out Brambleberry they're absolutely fabulous I cannot wait to get my paws on some of this stuff and to go uh, uh, make some hmm ooh maybe I shouldn't tell you we should just surprise you instead I'm so mean anyway I hope you have a fabulous day I hope this has brought a little bit of a smile to your face